Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I'm coming to you with another field strip video. And today's field strip video is actually going to be a little bit more in depth than a standard field strip because there is some basic maintenance on this gun, which by the way is the Six Hour MPXK, that I think if you own one of these, you need to do occasionally. So beyond just doing a basic field strip, I'm going to remove the barrel and remove the gas piston system for cleaning. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, as always, is dry the magazine ensure that there is no ammunition in there looks like we are good we'll set that magazine aside then of course we will visually inspect that chamber make sure that there is no ammunition in the gun for safety reasons looks like we are good now that the hammer is back go ahead and put that gun on safe now there are a few tools that we are probably going to need we might not need all of them but let's go over those really really fast I like to use a rawhide hammer we have a 11 millimeters wrench a basic punch a towel we have a screwdriver with a I believe it is a Torx number 25 head we have a regular hammer, and I think that is all the tools that we will need. As I said, we might not need all of them as we try to get the gas piston system out, which sometimes gets a little bit carbon locked. And when people own these MPXs, they don't realize that these gas piston systems can come apart. And if you don't clean them after thousands and thousands of rounds, they can become kind of locked and you might have inferior performance. All right, so let's go to the next step. Let's go ahead and take this towel and put it underneath the receiver here. Sometimes these takedown pins, unlike an AR-15, are in there a little bit tight. So I'll go ahead and take this punch right here and this rawhide hammer and just lightly start those pins out of the lower receiver. I'll turn the gun over to the side here and I'll pull out those pins and then the lower receiver comes off the upper just like that and that's all that we have to do for the lower receiver so we can now set that aside for cleaning now we have the upper receiver when the lower is taken off the upper the handguard can simply slide off the front so there is our handguard and that is how you interchange it so we'll set that aside as well so the next thing we're going to do is pull back the charging handle take out the bolt and bolt carrier so let's go ahead and take all of that out there is your bolt carrier with the recoil spring mechanism and there is your charging handle you can now set that aside now let's take a look here at the bolt carrier. In order to get this all apart with the bolt facing downward, you can compress these springs right here with your fingers, and that will allow you to take off the clip in the back, just like that, and then slowly release those springs. You can now take off the recoil springs, and the guide rods for those come out the front of the bolt carrier. And then just like an AR-15, in order for you to get the firing pin out, you have to take out the cotter pin. I might need a smaller punch for this. It looks like I will. I'll be right back. All right, so instead of a punch, I got a little pick. I will now take this cotter pin here out of the carrier, just like that. Now the firing pin should drop out of the bolt let's go ahead and straighten that out and here we go this can be a little bit tricky sometimes it can be stuck in there just a little bit let's see if i can pry it out here all right so i think i also had to get a little pair of needle nose pliers out to pull that firing pin out there it is it is exceptionally dirty we'll set that aside now we will take the cam pin and rotate it to the side just like an AR-15 and that should hopefully come out but as I said this gun is pretty dirty it might not come out right now if I can pull it out there it is set that aside and now we can take out the bolt and if you want you can take out the extractor and that comes off the same way we have a little pin right there take out that pin and there is the extractor. We're gonna get all in there to clean it up. All right, so now let's go to the upper receiver and let's get this barrel out of here. So this is where you are going to need that Torx size 25. 
The barrel is held in by two screws here, and there is a plate on the other side that they screw into. They shouldn't be in there too tight, but make sure you have the right size socket here, or the right size head on this screwdriver. These should come out relatively easy. There's one. Alright, there is the other, and then the plate should come out the other side. Now, depending on how much you have used this gun, and as you can see, my hands are pretty dirty, this barrel should come out of the upper. You might need to twist it out just a little bit, and there is your barrel and the gas piston system there at the top, and that is your completely disassembled upper. So once again, we'll set that aside as well. And now let's take out this gas system here. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take an 11 millimeters wrench and we're gonna turn the actual piston itself. I'm sorry, this is not the piston. This is the actual gas plug. We're gonna rotate that about 180 degrees. And it comes to a point where you have this flanged cutout, which will correspond to the cutouts on the gas block itself. Sometimes you can pull these out, sometimes you can't. There are gas rings in there, and this part of the gun gets really dirty. It looks like it's not going to come out for me. So sometimes what you may have to do is lightly with a metal hammer, push in the piece right here called a tappet. Yeah, you have to tap the tappet. So if I tap that out, it should push that gas key out of there. As I said, it's really kind of stuck in there. Let me just make sure everything is lined up. You don't want to overdo anything, hit it too hard. So let's try this again. It's coming out a little bit. All right. All right, let's try this one more time. I'll use the back of this punch here and I might be able to get it out. As I said, this thing can really get stuck in there. There it goes. So that is the actual gas plug right there. There are gas rings on it. And now the tappet itself can come through and that should come out the front. And there you go. That is a completely disassembled MPXK. Now, I believe the full-size gas block is just a little bit different, but it comes apart in exactly the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this gun up, and then we're going to put it back together. All right, so here we go with the gun all cleaned up, and this gun was absolutely filthy. That's one of the things about the MPX that I do not like, is that it does get very dirty. Luckily, you can take it really far down and clean everything. It's just very time-consuming. So let's go ahead and put this firearm back together. We're going to start with the gas system and the barrel first. So we're going to go ahead and put in the tappet first here into the gas block and because it has those gas rings it might be a little bit stiff and hard to get in there then we're going to take the gas plug itself it's going to be kind of the opposite of what we did so we got to make sure that this flange side lines up with the installation of it and we should be able to push that in if not you have to hammer it in place let me grab that hammer real fast just kind of lightly tap on it it should go all the way in and then once it is in, all you have to do is take that 11 millimeter wrench and rotate it as such. And there you go. And now that gas system is back together and all clean. So let's go ahead and put this barrel now in the upper receiver. So on this side, we're going to take that plate where the screws go into. We're going to install that right there. And you might have to drop it out when you turn it on the other side, but I like to have my fingers on it. So then I can let it drop just a little bit. We can install this barrel. And then once it goes all the way in, let's see here. There we go. Make sure that plate's in there right. And now we're going to put these screws in. I like to hand tighten these first. Go as far as I can, and then I will get the 
screwdriver with the Torx 25 head on it and we will tighten this down. All right, and for now, we will install the handguard. And then we're gonna take the upper and set that aside for just a moment. Now we're gonna put the bolt carrier back together. So let's go ahead and put the extractor into the bolt. And then we will put the pin that holds it back in. It only goes in one way. It's actually flared at one side. So now the bolt is back together. Then we will put the bolt into the carrier. We'll put the cam pin in. And just like an AR-15, you want to rotate that and then pull the bolt out. Then we will take the firing pin, make sure the spring is on that. We will install that from the back. Make sure, of course, goes all the way through and all the way into the bolt. All right. Then, because it is spring-loaded, you might have to push it down into it a little bit. And then, make sure that everything lines up. And then, when it's pushed down, you should be able to put this cotter pin all the way through. So sometimes I'll just start it like that. I will push that pin in and then I can push the cotter pin all the way through and now our bolt carrier is back together. Now let's put this recoil system back together. So you have to make sure these guide rods go through that part at the top. And once again they only go one way. Once they're on there you can put the recoil springs on each one of the guide rods, just like that. And then I will put the bolt facing down on the workbench and I can compress these springs. Now be very careful because if you let go of these things, they're gonna go flying across the room. Then you have this clip which goes in the back and you should be able to put each guide rod in there. Then when you release the spring slowly, it holds it into place. And that is our whole bolt carrier assembly with the recoil springs assembled. So now let's go ahead, take the upper receiver, and let's put in that charging handle, and make sure that bolt is fully extended. Then we will install the carrier and the recoil spring assembly. Make sure it goes in there. Looks like we are good. And push it all the way in. Everything looks nice and tight. I'll go ahead and close the dust cover up. And now we're going to put the upper receiver on the lower receiver. I'll go ahead and push these pins back out. Now, when you put this together, make sure that the hammer is back and the safety is on. Because if the hammer is forward, it will hit on the carrier and you won't be able to close the upper on the lower. So, We'll go ahead and put the pin through in the front, close it up in the back, push that pin through. For right now, let's go ahead and check it, make sure everything is functioning. I'll go ahead and put the gun on fire. Hammer seems to work. It resets. It looks like we are good to go. And so there you go. That is a complete field strip plus a disassembly of the barrel and the gas system for cleaning and a reassembly. So I hope this helps somebody in the future. And if you own one of these MPXs, please know that these are kind of a higher maintenance firearm and you have to clean that gas system from time to time to make sure the gun operates like it should. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. So as always, thanks for watching.